hello hello welcome i just came back from a trip to new york and i of course i took the opportunity to grab some new art supplies and goodies and all that fun stuff that i know you guys love as much as i do so i thought it would be nice to do like a very quick um relaxing and very spontaneous uh, art supply haul maybe so yeah let's do this first of all i'm really sorry if the lighting is not very nice it's uh it's pretty late right now i don't know if this is the best angle but yeah i think it will work so, uh, most of the stuff I bought are um, things that aren't easy to find in my country or they are pretty expensive. So I uh, focus on getting all that stuff that, that is very hard to find. For example, these uh, Liquitex acrylic ink, this uh, doesn't exist here i saw a couple of artists that use use this i don't know it's it sounds like a pretty cool concept acrylic ink <laughs> and i thought it would be nice to give it a shot so i grab a couple of colors to have a var variety i have a green a white i'm very curious to see uh, how opaque this is I hope it's it's opaque. <laughs> Yellow medium. This one seemed really cool. It's like a very shiny bronze. Here we have a mute turquoise, turquoise, turquoise. I don't know. Uh, cerulean blue. Um, this one. I think this one is my favorite. It's a mute pink. Uh, all the mute uh, tones are really, really nice. So that's it for the acrylic, the Liquitex acrylic inks. Of course, there were more colors, but since I will use this for the first time, I just didn't want to go crazy. So if I like them, maybe in the future I can get some more. I grabbed some more Ecoline inks. These are actually like liquid watercolors. And I have already a couple of these. Um, they are really nice. I really like them. So I just decided to grab some more. Mm. Another thing we don't have here are the Copic refills. Yay! I have been looking for this for a long time um, I'm really happy I finally got my hands on a couple of them uh, These are of course pretty expensive So I just uh, So I just uh, grabbed the tones I use the most Especially uh, skin tones I normally use this one for the cheeks, um, the redness in the in the skin. This one is really nice uh, skin base. Same with this one. Oh my God, it's not focused. Okay, this is the E33 sand. This is the VB02, which is the tone, the, which is the tone I use the most for shadows. Um, I get asked all the time which Copic marker I use for the shadows and this is it. This is the tone. This will come very, very handy. I also got some Posca markers. We do have Posca markers here in Argentina where I live, but I don't know. They are so, so pretty. 
that I thought I should get some more to, you know, to slowly expand my collection. Speaking of expanding my collection, I also grabbed more acrylic wash from Holbein. These we don't have in my country. These are like impossible to get at a local shop. You have to order these online, which I already did, but the experience of having the whole, uh, you know, collection, the whole uh, color palette in front of you, where you just can pick the one you like the most, uh, that's really nice. We went to a Japanese stationery shop, which was really, really nice. And it had like a million types of different pens. And I grabbed some. These are not waterproof, but the lines, the strokes are very, very smooth. The ink is really dark and nice. So I have to grab some. This is the Pentel Sleazy which is a uh, friend nerd favorite pen. She said that on her video. So I have to try one to get one for me as well. It's, it's very hard to put it in words, actually. You have to see it. So I give you a quick demonstration. This is the Pentel Shell Liquid Gel Ink. I hope this goes nice. I don't know if you can notice. <laughs> My hands are very shaky. Um, I don't know, it's really nice. It's like a very thin and deep and smooth line. I really like this. It's another Pentel Enershell, but this is 0 0.3. I love it. Write or draw or do whatever you want with this. It's really satisfying. Here's the Pentel Sleazy. It's very um, thin. I think it's a bit thinner than the others. And it's really nice. I don't know if this, is, this one is waterproof. I believe it's not, but we'll see. I also grabbed some red pens i always i'm always trying to add red accent accents to my drawings and i never have like a a decent red pen so i grabbed a micron and this one which is a signal univolve signal and let me show you it's very thin I mean, it's very uh, normal, but I don't know, it's nice, I think. And this one, the Micron one, the Micron pen, uh, it's waterproof. I bought this baby. I love to try new different inks and compare how opaque they are. Uh, I haven't tried this one yet but it's copied, so it shouldn't be bad. I grabbed some spare nibs for my alcohol markers. I already have this one, but it completely dried without no reason. And it made me really sad because I really love how shiny and how gold this was so yeah I have to get a new one so I decided to get the burnt sienna because I have a lot of vibrant colors and I never have a lot of you know earth tones um, this will be very handy I hope so my boyfriend got me this really cute pencil sharpener by Moleskine 
it came in this tiny tiny can the presentation I also grab the Tombow Fudenosuke pen which is one of my favorites this one is I always use the Tombow Fudenosuke soft but this one is the Tombow Fudenosuke uh, hard which the tip feels just a tiny bit uh, more resistant but is as good as the other one so I don't have a favorite one now just I go with both now <laughs> I came to the conclusion that I have a lot of Copic markers I have uh, way too many and they are pretty expensive so I didn't want to waste my money I mean to invest my money in more of this no matter how much I wanted to grab some more so I did a humongous effort and I just grabbed one one single copy marker I mean besides the copy reveals but those don't count it's the BB02 I bought this one before I knew I could get the copy feel but that's okay this baby here is pretty interesting this is a masking fluid marker which i thought it was uh, really cool because i have the i have this one that you apply with a, a brush it's nice but maybe i thought that having like a marker it will be easier to apply masking fluid on details on small areas and it's going to be fun i don't know what's this to be honest i don't know if this is a nice brown or what but i just saw rose gold and i had to get it <laughs> neither neither the rubber i don't know if i'm doing, saying that correctly these are like the rubbers that don't erase your drawing completely. This is just to make the lines more soft without erasing them completely. I mean, I always do this sketching and then I go with this on top before inking. And it's really nice. It's like when you're in Photoshop or Procreate and you just lower the opacity of your sketch layer. So this is exactly that, but in traditional art. <laughs> Here I have some pro markers. I know I said I have a lot of alcohol markers and I didn't want to uh, bring with me more alcohol markers, but I really wanted to try the Winsor Newton for a long time. And I saw this set with all these nice colors, very pastel, on vibrant colors and I had to get it to try it and I'm very happy I did because I don't know I always wanted to have these markers uh, I I have a feeling they are going to be good but honestly I don't know here we have Liquitex clear gesso this is this is something I wanted and I couldn't find here in my country. Not this round, not whatever brown. I mean, clear gesso, it doesn't exist. Which is a bummer because I need this to use my, give me a moment. Okay, so a while ago I bought these Pantone cards that are really nice. The colors are just lovely but the surface is very slippery you can't draw or paint in this because uh, it just doesn't absorb any kind of ink and it's very annoying doing some research i found out that this is the thing you need like if you apply just a tiny coat of clear gesso 
on top of this, they become more friendly to draw on top. And I'm very excited to try it. Yes. This one is really cute. There's nothing very special inside. There's just a pencil sharpener and some regular pencils that says New York City. Um, but the packaging was so nice. I really loved it. I also got this pouch. Um, I don't know if this will become like a regular pencil case for me or whatever, but the colors are really nice. It just it's very special. I just fell in love immediately. I know this is like a very random thing. Oh my god. But we don't have these bastards here in my country. These are some organizers you just put on your rolling cards and you just put some art supplies. I don't know, I always wanted to have this to organize my stuff. My card is uh, a mess right now, so please ignore that. Last but not least, here's all the paper and sketchbooks I got. This is very heavy, it was a pain to bring with me, uh, to bring this uh, in my luggage, but I did it. This is a Lino, I don't know how this is called in English, but I was, I'm trying to get into Lino cut again, and this is like a rubber thing to just cut with um, the, I don't know how that called in English, but you understand, this is for Lina Cut. Here is a, a small Lettrum sketchbook. This is a brand I heard all the time, and I decided to grab a tiny sketchbook to try the paper. This is very expensive, by the way, so uh, yeah, I hope it's worth it. The baby, here is the thing I wanted the most, the render sketchbook, which it, which is no through paper. You paint with alcohol markers here and it doesn't bleed through to the other side. If that's true, that will be a game changer. I hope so. <sighs> Got the same, but uh, this is smaller. This is like an A5 and it's hard cover. And this one is a bit bigger. This is A4, I think. It's um, soft color. So I'm very excited to try this. Here's another sketchbook I wanted to try. The Stratmore Mixed Media. It seems very nice. I like the, the format. I don't have many sketchbooks that are more on the square square size uh, side, if that makes sense. So I thought it would be interesting to change my canvas, you know, sometimes. My old time favorite mixed media paper. I was running out of this one, so I had to get another block. This is a Fabriano mixed media and it's uh, A4 as well. It's really, really nice, and the surface is uh, smooth. I don't like uh, the paper, which is uh, cold press, I think, which is very, you know, like texture, heavy texture. Uh, I, I mean, I love texture in general, but it's very hard for me to draw on heavy texture paper. So I always prefer more uh, hot press. I haven't tried this before, I know it's um, the favorite paper uh, of many artists I admire, so I thought it would be time for me to see <laughs> how awesome this paper is. Here's another one of my favorites, the Stratmore Vision watercolor paper. Again, it's very smooth, 
um, it's very very thick and it's, it holds uh, watercolors and inks pretty well okay guys i think that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video i have a lot of mixed feelings to be back home uh, it's really nice to being able to travel again after almost two years of you know the pandemic stuff and all that it's really nice and refreshing being able to see the world again i guess <laughs> i mean i miss doing art a lot i cannot wait to try all these new babies and play around and um, most importantly to you know create um and just do stuff well yeah that's it for today's video uh we'll see you guys very very soon thanks so much for watching